Hello, I'm three students. Um, today, we're going to begin lesson 14.2, uh, which is choosing among linear, quadratic, and exponential models um, day one. So we're going to actually take a look at other models. As we've been working with exponential models for a little bit, we're going to take a look at the other models, which are linear, quadratic, um, or exponential. And we're going to actually choose the best one that fits the set of data. So we will be able to choose among linear, quadratic, or exponential models for a given set of data. So we're going to be exploring all the methods and see which one is the best fit because sometimes it may look like the linear one is good, but it may fit better with quadratic. So um, let's practice. So in the following diagrams right here, you'll see that there are four sets of data, um, scatter plots, and we're going to take a look at each one to see which one might be a better fit. So um, in the first one, model A, so you will probably agree with me that um, Linear one is probably a better fit for A. And then for the B, you can see that the shape is kind of like going in a curve and based on um, based on the end points right here, we could probably agree that um, a quadratic is a better fit. Let me draw a better shape of a quadratic. So probably a quadratic is a better fit. And then C could probably just be an exponential uh, decay and then finally D probably is what you want to take a guess go ahead and take a guess uh, it would be quadratic positive quadratic this is a negative quadratic okay and then this is a negative linear and this is a decay growth uh, because it's going down so that would be what I would suggest as the um, the choices that you would choose so if you look at a again the answer is do you think that a linear model will be appropriate? So yes, we would say that linear, uh, because it follows pretty much the law, the uh, the shape of a line. Look at B. What is the difference that indicates another one? So because of that end right there, is probably why this would be a quadratic, which is opening down. C is uh, indicates that a. So we did say that it is um, exponential, and then D is a exponential going up because of the shape the points are kind of scattered on. So as noted in the previous problem, it is not always immediately clear what kind of model best fits a data set, but with experience, your ability to recognize signs and reasons for choosing one model over another will increase. So in other words, the more you do these problems, the better you will get at it because you'll have more experience and you'll, you know, just, just like everything else in general in life. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Okay, practice makes better. Not perfect, but get better. Using a graphing calculator, perform the given regression on the data set and give the best fit. So today we're going to continue using our um, calculator, our decimals, to help us to generate. So the first thing we need to do is to enter the set of data. So here we go again. Hopefully there's no delay this time. We're going to enter the data into our um, graphing calculator. So everyone, go ahead and open up um, your decimals and enter your set of data. So 1.2, 2.8, 3.5, 4.5, 5. And that's all the data for the X column. And make sure you double check that you did not type a number wrong. 1.7, 7.0, and 426.3. And that's the set of data. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can see the points a little bit more. Now we can see um, pretty much those are the set of data. Um, we can see it better like this. We just have one point that's kind of like off the chart. So we're going to generate um, a, it says use a graphing calculator, perform the given uh, regression on the set. And we're going to actually do all three. So we're going to do linear 
and then quadratic and then exponential so to see which one is the best fit so you may want to write this down on a piece of paper because we're going to i'm going to give you guys the equations to write for a linear so linear is going to be y1 and then you need the approximate symbol and then it's going to be a plus b x1 so there's the linear one and you can compare with the data so far does that look like it's a good fit like are you happy deal or no deal right you can kind of like play the game deal or no deal okay so i think for me it's no deal i think i i would be uh looking for better so the next one is going to be quadratic so y1 again the approximate symbol and then it's going to be a x 1 and then square that plus b x 2 I'm going to enter x 2 and then plus c so that's my quadratic equation so everyone you can see that it fits uh just a little bit maybe just a little bit better than the linear right so here's the second one and um, I'm not too happy with that one either, but I'm going to just, so no deal for me again. So I'm going to go and enter the exponential one. So this one, you should be familiar with it because we have done it already. So it is y1 approximate a b to the x1 right so that is my exponential one so if you guys can go ahead and take a look at the three of them the purple black or the red i think that you can pretty much all agree with me that the red one fits the set of data the best so even if i zoom out to that point right there look at that it touches almost every single point look at how perfect that is i'm so proud of myself right so that red line that red curve is exponential function it hits almost every single point on the data so clearly you can tell that this is the set of data that makes the best for um, this set of data right so we're going to conclude that the exponential one is the best fit so we're going to go back to the problem and say exponential is the best fit right and so that is how um, you do one problem so hopefully you guys can try the second point looks like i have a screen fro uh my screen froze again so it's slowly coming back so you guys are going to go ahead and enter the second set of data into the graphing calculator the same way that we did it and i want you guys to generate so let me just write this down for you the equations so for linear You're going to go y1 approximate a plus bx1. Then for the quadratic, you're going to use y1 approximate ax1 squared plus bx2 plus c. And then the exponential one, we already know this from before. It should be y1 approximate a b to the x1. So those are the three equations you're going to enter. And I'm going to have you pause it here and go ahead and try this. Enter the two set of data and then generate it by, uh, by the computer and tell me which one is the best fit. I'm going to tell you the answer right now, but don't look at this until you tried it yourself. So hopefully you have tried it. And um, the answer is, I think that linear is the best fit for this, uh, this part problem right here. And then doing the same thing, you're going to try the next two. And so here's two more opportunity for you to try. Again, try it before you look at the answer. For this one, A right here, quadratic is the best. And the last one, I think it's either linear or exponential. So if you ask me to pick one, I'll probably pick the exponential one. So those are the answers for all of the problems. And that is the end of the lesson. So hopefully you know how to generate 
the equations um, by calculator now. Have a good day. That is the end. You may go ahead and get started with your lesson. Bye. See you next time.